Good morning, Hope, and good morning, Bahamas. Well, Anastasia, please let us know what is happening weather-wise today. Across the Bahamas today, we have an area of high pressure that is producing fresh to strong winds and rough seas across our island. Beach goers should continue to exercise extreme caution due to rough surf and the risk of rip currents along East Coast and Atlantic exposed beaches. Fall areas today, weather partly sunny, warm, and windy with a quick passing shower. Fair, windy, and warm with a passing shower tonight. Small craft advisory continues. Winds are out of the east to southeast at 20 to 25 knots. Seas are 5 to 8 feet. Expect a high temperature of 84 degrees Fahrenheit today with a low of 72. Sun will rise this morning at 7.10 a.m. and will set at 7.21 p.m. this evening. Moon sets this morning at 10.56 a.m. and will rise again tomorrow morning at 1.11 a.m. We are currently at low tide. We'll have a high tide at 12.25 p.m. Tide will be low this evening at 6.35 p.m. and high again tomorrow morning at 1.04 in our extended forecast, the high pressure will drift eastward ahead of a cold front that enters the northwest Bahamas on Friday. Strong winds and rough seas will prevail across the area. On Thursday, weather remains partly sunny, warm, and windy with isolated showers, becoming cloudy and breezy with isolated showers and thunderstorms in the northwest Bahamas. Look for fair and windy conditions with passing showers elsewhere. Winds will be east to southeast, 20 to 25 knots. Seas will be 5 to 8 feet. On Friday, weather becomes partly cloudy to cloudy, warm and breezy with widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms in vicinity of the trough and the frontal boundary. Look for partly sunny, warm and breezy conditions with a passing shower in the remaining islands. Winds will be west to northwest at 15 to 20 knots in the northwest Bahamas behind the front and south east to south at 15 to 20 knots in all areas ahead of the front. Seas will be 4 to 6 feet. Here at the Department of Meteorology this morning, we have some widely scattered showers across the islands of South and... This is the ZNS Network, providing radio and high-definition television services for the entire Bahamas. ZNS Network is operated by the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas. It is located at Harcourt Rusty Bethel Drive, Centerville, Nassau. Our programming is designed to inform, educate, and entertain. We invite you to join us. The following is a preamble of the Constitution of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. Whereas 481 years ago, the rediscovery of this family of islands, rocks and keys, heralded the rebirth of the new world. And whereas the people of this family of islands 
recognizing that the preservation of their freedom will be guaranteed by a national commitment to self-discipline, industry, loyalty, unity, and an abiding respect for Christian values and the rule of law. Now, know we therefore, we the inheritors of and successors to this family of Alan's, recognizing the supremacy of God and believing in the fundamental rights and freedoms of the individual, do hereby proclaim in solemn praise the establishment of a free and democratic sovereign nation founded on spiritual values and in which no man, woman, or child shall ever be slave or bondsman to anyone or their labor exploited or their lives frustrated by deprivation and do hereby provide by these articles for the indivisible unity and creation under God of the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. It's Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022, and the morning edition is live. On today's show, another homicide on the streets of the capital. All hands on deck for the royal visit. The wife of the prime minister joining in on activities for forestry week. And it's puppy day. So let's start the morning off right. is brought to you by We Buy You Sell Company, your leading hurricane impact windows, doors, and tile specialist. Success only comes to those who dare to attempt. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Morning Edition. I'm LaDawn Davis. And drum roll as normal. You have to say my name. It's my week. Good morning, Prince Charles. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> it's nice to be in your company once again. One more day before the Duke and Duchess yeah, arrive. I can't here wait. I'm excited. In the I'm excited. I'm excited, especially to meet um, the Duchess. I, I'm sure you're excited to meet the Duke, but I'm, I'm excited to meet the Well, Duchess. this will be their last leg of their mm -hmm. three uh, country tour. They started off over there in Belize, mm -hmm. then they went on to Jamaica, and now they're coming to the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're getting set for, we, we have some video and pictures of, they, they went diving with the sharks oh, over wow. there in Belize. Awesome. Awesome. I, 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 they, and then oh, they, they went into this forestry uh -huh. and, and, and Belize also as well. And then you can see Cake dancing with some of the natives there all on the right. island. All this is happening right there in she Belize. Gorgeous, yeah, right. uh, very gorgeous. And there they are coming off that big mm -hmm. RAF Voyager aircraft. Uh, she, she was dressed in Ooh, yellow, the yellow color of the perfect. Jamaican flag. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, she reached there in Jamaica yesterday. So it's, it's, it's all glitz and glamour. They know behemoths are all anticipating. They uh -huh. just want to get a glimpse. They've seen them in uh -huh. pictures and on TV. So if they can see these persons up front, wow. it, it'll really make their day, make their life, and say, hey, I was there when the Duchess mm -hmm. and, and Duke came to the Bahamas in yeah. 2022. And I know we're all excited because Friday morning, we're going to have an hour show out of One Watson hour. Square. Are you going to so, wear your tux? Yeah, so I'm, 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 tux? I already got a tux. Cleaned and, and everything? And everything. All right, I'm going to be right. dapper, dapper, dapper. Uh -huh. so, so, but something breaking happened last mm -hmm. night out there on Independence Highway, and that's where we find our Crystal Darling early this morning. Crystal, good morning. Tell us what's happening out there. Good morning, Fisher and LaDawn, and good morning, Bahamas. This morning, we are live on the scene of a fire that happened sometime last night. We are learning that officers came out here around 2 a.m. this morning to fight the fire. So this morning, I'm here at the Bahamas liquidation plant right off of East West Highway, and I'm with fire officer, assistant, superintendent, and Brister. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so could you tell us um, this uh, what happened last night? Uh, sometime after 2 a.m. this morning, uh, we would have received uh, information that we reported structural fire here in this area at uh, the Bahamas Liquidation Center here. Uh, we would have responded with four units. Uh, on our arrival, we, we would have met uh, heavy smoke and flames emanating from the western side of the structure. Uh, the fire was quickly attacked. Uh, however, due to the structural stability of the building, our officers were unable to make an interior attack, so we had to fight uh, from a more
more of a, a, a defensive mode. Uh, however, at this time, we're not sure or certain as to the course of this place, but our investigators are on scene. And as you can see, our officers are still here trying to uh, contain this place. Thank you so much for that, Officer Ambrister. Now, we are going to head into our traffic segment, and we have here with us also Officer Patrick Kemp. Good morning, Officer Kemp. Uh, good morning, Crystal. Good okay. morning, Bahamas. Okay, so could you give us a brief overview of last night's traffic? Well, within the last 24 hours, uh, reported to us for over six accidents, and so I want to encourage the drivers out there once again, once again, to please drive with two care and attention, and pay any pay special attention to all markings and signs, and to remind the modern public that the, the big day is basically here. Now, we're one day away for the, from the royal, royal visit, and I would expect everybody to act accordingly and respect the officers at those various intersections that are there to help avoid the traffic for your safety and help you get to your various destination on time. Okay. And, you know, with traffic, you know, traffic is going to be very built up over the weekend. We can expect very busy roads. Could you send out a reminder um, to motorists to drive with due care and attention? Yeah. Well, uh, again, patients should expect that during this that during this time, for the next couple of days, the disruption in the traffic may be a bit frustrating. But again, it's expected due to the event that's that's um, that's um, upon us. All right. So again, I want the drivers out there to please exercise some patience. This is not going. This is coming. So please exercise some patience and uh, respect the officers. Respect any markings or signs out there that that are erected to help you get to go to your various destinations. There is no need for the road rage um, and arguing amongst each other on the streets. That makes no absolutely no sense. All right. So I would expect us to be our brother and sister keeper and enjoy. Uh, what's happening. This is one for the history books, and we should all appreciate this this moment in time. Thank you so much for that this morning, Officer Patrick Kemp. Now, we want you to stay tuned to the ZNS Network. We will have more updates coming up throughout the day about this fire this morning. Back to you in the studio, Fisher and Ladon. Thanks a lot, Christian Kemp. We are waking up to 75 degrees, partly cloudy, wind southeast at 10 miles per hour, humidity 83%, and area of high pressure is producing fresh to strong winds and rough seas across the Bahamas. All areas weather partly sunny, warm, and breezy with a quick passing shower. Your daytime high temperature 84 degrees Fahrenheit, overnight low of 70. And as we look ahead to Thursday, the day of the royal arrival, sunny, windy, and humid. 84 in the day, 70 at night. And then on Friday, those rain downpours are still out there. A lot of persons are praying that they get out of here as soon as possible so we can have a great day. On Friday, downpours expected early in the morning, 83 in the day, 70 at night. The Bahamas Travel Health Visa is once again causing controversy with the Free National Movement taking issue with the cost of a COVID-19 test connected to the visa. Opposition leader Michael Pintard insists government is footing the bill for COVID-19 testing for tourists to the tune of $18. But according to Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, the Honorable Chester Cooper, here are the facts. This administration and this administration have always provided a five-day test or two-day test, as the case might be, as a part of the fee that's being charged for the travel health visa. Instead of that test being a five-day test, it is now a departure test. If we are subsidizing the travel for tourists now, we're subsidizing the travel then. So it's, it's really nonsense in my view. And the reality of it is that we are transitioning the travel health visa model. Uh, we do have a batch of tests on hand, and we made the determination that this is how we would handle it. It's no additional cost to the government. A plan to revitalize Bay Street soon to be devised. Speaking to a Ministry of Tourism forum held with Bay Street business and property owners on Tuesday, the Deputy Prime Minister noted a number of challenges, including many abandoned and derelict buildings, but notes that modernizing Bay Street and its surrounding areas may require some changes in code. The vibrancy of downtown should be the story our visitors tell to their friends and family when they return home rather than the stories they now tell. Downtown should be memorable, authentic, on a safe journey, stretching west to Iowa Key, east to Potters Key. 
COVID-19 cases are exploding across China and Europe. Minister of Health and Wellness Dr. The Honorable Michael Darville says his team have their eyes focused on what's happening. We will take into consideration what's happening, particularly the possibility of it now spreading to the United States, uh, coming through California, and the list goes on and on. Police called to the scene of a homicide Tuesday evening on Wright Lane off Wolf Road. Press liaison officer Superintendent Audley Peters tells us what officers found upon their arrival. They found a male lying in the streets with gunshot wounds to the head. Emergency medical services were summoned and following their assessments that male was pronounced lifeless. Our initial investigations revealed that the male was standing in the street when a small vehicle pulled up from off of Wolf Road, two males exited and discharged their weapons at him, resulting in being fatally wounded. Police Commissioner Paul Rowe foreshadowing his upcoming retirement is expected to take place sometime this year. We all serve in the police force for, for 40, and uh, I'm nearing that time. I'm looking forward to that. We Buy You Sell offers the best in impact windows and doors. The first line of defense in protecting your home and family with premium designs and affordable pricing. We can make your dream home a reality. We also stock a wide variety of tiles such as porcelain, mosaic, and plank tiles. We offer the lowest rates in the country. Located at number 163 Robinson Road, call 677-2856 or 324-6427. We Buy You Sell. Come and see us today. We're headed on the road and we want you to join us for live coverage from Bahamar on March 25th at 7 and 11 p.m. for a special edition of The Bahamas Tonight, The Royal Visit. minute visit and tour of the Sybil Strawn Primary School is on the agenda for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on Friday. Lloyd Allen visited the school to find out how preparations are coming along. Officials at Sybil Strawn Primary School pulling out all the stops as they amp up efforts to showcase the best in public education for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Principal Glendina Mills fills us in on the big day she describes as... Amazing. Amazing. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a showcase. And also I've used the word memorable. And the pair will receive the world tour, no pun intended. And they'll be escorted to the pavilion where they'll be entertained with music selections from various primary schools throughout our island. Following the ceremony, the Duke and Duchess will have a conversation with 10 of our primary school students and then with six of our primary school teachers. From all indications, Principal Mills feels students and staff members are excited about this historic opportunity. So we have persons from various schools participating in all of that. Here at Sybil Strong Primary School, most of our um, involvement would be speaking parts. For example, my head boy will be introducing the Minister of Education. Okay, but all of the other events will be showcasing the various talents from schools here on the island. The school is also on schedule for the establishment of an above-ground time capsule. Now we're here near the entrance, according to Principal Mills, where that exact time capsule is going to be erected. Items are going to be placed in the time capsule, and two items I can tell you for sure would be something that represents or shows the connectivity between the Bahamas and Britain, and we're looking at a flag. As for the final touches, preparations are progressing well with an assurance that the school will be in tip-top shape for Friday. But as for students hoping to interact with the Royals on Friday... The, on that particular morning, the students wouldn't be in a classroom environment per se. So they won't get to see that. But they will get to see the classroom environment and to see what type of things are on display in the classrooms and get a feel from there as to what is happening now that we are in face-to-face -face instructions. The wife of the Prime Minister joining in on Forestry Week activities, taking it upon herself to plant a new tree of her own. Here's Antony Smith. A gift that years from now will no doubt leave a lasting impact. A forest begins with planting one tree. 
Among the lush green gardens of the Ranfurly Home and Children's Emergency Hostel stands a new tree, now little in size but big in its meaning. It's a gift from wife of the Prime Minister, Anne Marie Davis. A few months ago, she came on property and she promised to come back and plant a breadfruit tree, and she indeed kept her word. So thank you very much for that. Um, as she stated, the breadfruit tree is very, very nutritious. And um, here at Ranfurly, one of our goals is to grow our own vegetables and fruits. The initiative coming after more than years-long push for self-sustainability and right in time for International Day of Forest. The trees planted here today is symbol of food security for the future. Like I said, it's a tree that feeds. A breadfruit tree can sustain a family for decades. Uh, it can also be pruned to grow into the shape that you want it to. But it stands there and is becoming more and more popular in this region. And it's Mistress Davis's hope that this tree is just one of many to come. I wish that a lot of people would follow, like I say, the Ministry of Agriculture, with Health, Sports and um, Youth and Sports and NGOs as much as possible. I hope they join us today and plant a breadfruit tree, start with one, and then plant as many as possible. At full maturity, a breadfruit tree can yield more than 150 fruit seasonally. A community builder is giving back to his community, and as Kyle Parma tells us this morning, he's doing it in a big way. Mr. Dean is a school partner. His name is a staple in the community. It seems as though everyone living in and out of the Fort Charlotte community knows his name. The name Henry Dean is synonymous with giving. He has donated to the school on many occasions. Mr. Dean has done it again, donating thousands of dollars towards uniforms for the children in need at the Tichy Glover Primary School. We do this because in the neighborhood, there are any number of kids who pass my house daily to go to school and are, are without uniform. We believe it's essential for them to have uniform and to take some pressure of parents and, and, and should they feel encouraged to come provide opportunities for them to learn. So we shop for underwear, we shop for socks, we shop for shoes and to fully equip a child in uniform. Principal of TG Global Primary, Shaniqua Curry, says the needs of students were assessed prior to the items being purchased. I mean, have a child come up to me. She's still wearing a jeans. She's still wearing slippers. She would say, Miss Curry, my mommy sewn, sewn do it. And I said to her, not to worry. So we know that that plays a toll on children when they don't look the same. And so while they have been given the opportunity to come to school in their own clothing, we know the importance of them coming uniformed um, as it is not a distraction in class and also they are all looking as one. The adage it takes a village to raise a child, this is a true reflection and example of that. Minister of State for Education, the Honorable Zane Lightburn, underscored the importance of this donation and the assistance of corporate sponsorship, primarily in this season of economic challenges. We're asking for anyone who can, corporate Bahamas, follow their example, because Mr. Henry Dane has certainly displayed what a good corporate citizen is, especially to the growth of our nation. I don't count it. I don't count the cost. I just give, and that's my joy. And as we head to the break, we take a look back at today in Bahamian history. On March 23, 1972, the $3 million Citibank building on Thompson Boulevard was officially opened. Also on this day in 1990, an estimated 350 to 400 workers of Carnival Crystal, Crystal Palace marched to workers' house protesting a strip search of several female workers. What would I like people to know about women in leadership is that women being in leadership does not deny an opportunity to a man to be in leadership. We can all be in leadership together. And in fact, leadership makes its most effective decisions when it's getting those different viewpoints from all segments of society. My advice would be to young women to never rest on your laurels. Always be thinking about what is the next thing that you can do or need to learn. There's a spark of greatness in each of us. That spark is called personality. 
Individual gifts and talents provide the fuel to set that spark ablaze. Each child has the right to an education which values their personality and nurtures their talents, while teaching them to be respectful to their parents and their cultures. Seasoned entrepreneur and philanthropist Lincoln Deal joins us next time on Journey TV. Tune in to hear some of his greatest fights and failures and how these were turned into his biggest wins because of his relentless pursuit to fulfill purpose. Don't you miss this powerful episode. Tune in every Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on ZNS. Journey TV, we share life's truths. Well, today has been observed as Puppy Love Day, celebrates the unconditional love and affection puppies bring to our lives. Well, for some, getting your hands on a puppy is just for company, while others, it's protection and around their home. But whatever it is, dogs and puppies are man's best friend. And to tell us about that today is from the Bahamas Humane Society, Mr. Percy. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Edition. Good morning, edition. good morning, Bahamas. Um, it's a pleasure for me to come and celebrate today with um, you guys. Um, National Pu uh, Puppy Day, started back in 2004 by a lovely lady, um, uh, a, a lifestyle um, psychologist actually, started in 2004, um, this National Day for Puppies. And I think was, the aim was to try to get kids, I guess, trained properly in, in the social skills, empathy, and having absolute responsibility for um, animals. I think um, good um, good background. I think good social skills begins with having the responsibility of a puppy. <laughs> we at the Humane Society um, have lots and lots of puppies for adoption. We um, encourage people to come in and adopt. There is, of course, criteria. <clears throat> you must have a fence in yard with gates and uh, you must have a proper house, dog house in, in place in order for us to adopt an animal to you. It's all yours, um, beautiful, beautiful puppies, and they're all ready to go. Multi-genetic, they're long-lasting, and we are hoping that you give them a forever home, because a lot of people, you know, get a dog, and, you know, once it, once it becomes from a puppy um, into an adult dog, they decide that they don't want it anymore. We're hoping that if you come in and you adopt a puppy, that you're going to take care of it for the rest of his life. So, so can you say that the adoption program at the Humane Society is going well? It's not going as well <clears throat> as we would hope. Uh, we don't have e enough of us in our country coming in to adopt animals. And so we've sensed the um, unfortunate um, um, coming of or crossing our land of Hurricane Dorian that you know, we met a lot of international partners. And so when we are over in debt with, uh, oh, you know, oh, actually it's overpopulated with puppies and also adult dogs and cats and kittens as well, we have the opportunity now to airlift. And so we have been airlifting lots of animals out of the country for um, adoption in other areas. But we are still hoping that Bahamians take um, puppies um, serious, take animal life serious. I think it's a good um, way of developing child social skills, um, getting them into empathy, getting them into just being good human beings. I think um, we all know, I guess, by now that if you haven't been brought up with animals, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to, to, to you know, be really as good as you ought to be with having good social skills, being um, good citizens in our country um, and areas that, that we are lacking in is mostly um, social skills. And so we're hoping that Bahamians um, will take it serious, come in, adopt their lovely, lovely puppies of all shapes and sizes, um, all breeds. Um, when we have it, we have all breeds there at the Humane Society. So, you know, and then we, we, we encourage also, we encourage people to spay and neuter their dogs because we, get have, we have so many stray dogs across our country um, running loose, um, you know, causing challenges or health challenges eventually. And so if you spay and neuter your dogs, we'll have less dogs on our streets. We'll have more dogs being um, companion animals for our kids and for our adults and for protection. And all these things start with that. So it's a pleasure um, 
um, observing today, and, and we, we thank Colleen Page way back in 2004 for starting this initiative, and we hope it, hope it continues. Thanks Thank a lot, Mr. Mr. Percy Grant, for joining us here on the Morning Edition. I know the dogs will be given a special treat today over there at the oh, yeah. Humane Society. Thank you. Well, well, once again, it is Merle Meteorological Day, and it's a day set aside for those persons. And you know, with hurricane season just a few months away, they are very important nowadays with climate change and everything. So we take the day out just to say thank you to them. All right, thank oh, you. And also I'm, I'm dreading, dreading hurricane season. But anyway, continue observances. So also, <laughs> that's it for observances. But guess what's coming mm -hmm. up next? It's, the, it's Cuddly Kitten Day. Also, today is March. Uh, it's how coincidental that it's Puppy uh. and Kitten Day. <laughs> so yeah. guess what's coming up next? What's uh. on your plate? And I have something special for the dawn to taste this morning. Another adventure, guys. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> As long as we've been a country, these islands have been a favorite for royalty. And for as long as the royals have adored us as a people, we've always been hospitable and gracious hosts. From a colony to a nation, now on the cusps of its golden anniversary, these shores have celebrated royal visits with class and dignity that is wholly Bahamian. As Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth celebrates her platinum anniversary on the throne, the islands of the Bahamas welcomes the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on this, their first visit to the country. Our coverage starts Thursday, March 24th at 4 p.m. and continues through their departure Saturday, March 26th. The ZNS Network, your home for the royal visit, William and Kate. Dawn, as we get set for the royal visit, we just like to let persons know that one of the most famous dish over there in England is cucumber sandwich. Cucumber sandwich with sausage and banana. So, so it is and done. Mayonnaise. It is the yes. So it is done something you like cut this. It in you, circles. In you, circles. You get the cucumber. Yeah. Make sure it's in circles. Let this them get a, 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 a glimpse of what you're you're cooking. This was, so this is a very popular dish started way back. By, the, by, by in, in England, so you, know, you take the... Put that right here. I think you have to cut the edges as well. No, you don't, no, we're not cutting You're the edges. You're not ed cutting the edges? No, we're not cutting the edges this morning. Mm. And then they also put mayonnaise on it. Oh, boy. So... It's too much. That's too much, No, this, sure. this is yours, so... No, 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 that's too much. You gotta take that off. So oh. I, I want you to taste that one. That's oh, cute. Oh, boy. Cucumber <laughs> and bread. This is I'm a, just along for, for good sportsmanship, but this is... Ah, how does it taste? Yes, good. I want you to taste it. And I could hear them laughing at me, but that's okay. Also, I'm being a good sport. I was in my kitchen the other day, and I just was, I was, I was, I was thinking about a recipe that cucumber. Yeah. I was told that you're supposed to take the sides off. Okay. And another thing we're trying this morning in the dawn. Yes. The sausage salty, and banana. Salty sausage and banana. Is that, is that uh, synonymous in England as well? No, this is a dish that I made up. You created, just yeah. created for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Salty boy. Salty sausage with banana. No, no, no. I... With a little bit of hot sauce. No, I think, oh, that's too much. That's too much hot sauce. Oh. Okay, so, you just. No, I'll, I'll stick with the salty and the sausage. The salty, sausage, and hot sauce. But, but. That's something that I know. This is. But this that is... banana and sausage, no. That's gonna have me in the in the restroom. No. You don't want to try the banana. No, that's gonna take me to the bathroom, and I don't want the morning edition team to laugh at me when I go to the restroom. So I'll stick so. to sausage and hot sauce. Oh wow, cucumber. So we're getting all set for the royal visit. We had a dish here this morning that mm -hmm. uh, is very common in England. That is cucumber mm -hmm. sandwich and cucumber mayonnaise and sausage and 
to their right. I'm dying to know what, what the Duke and Duchess uh, of Cambridge love to eat. I'm, 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 I'm Well, they, they swam with the shark in the yeah. east, and they went to visit the town of Bob Marley mm -hmm. in Jamaica. So mm -hmm. guess what? They're going to get an extra treat here because we have Junkanoo. I can't wait. We have wait. sailing. Mm -hmm. They're going to visit the Civil Strong and then they're going to go to Rosson Square. Yeah, so and they're going to have a big show. Mm -hmm. I think that they saved the best for last. Mm -hmm. They come to the Bahamas, mm -hmm. so, so it's going to be good. But make sure to tune into the Zenith Network for news as it happens, TV and radio updates throughout the day. Then you can tune into the Northern Edition at 6.30 and the Bahamas tonight at 7 o'clock. This cucumber is good, guys. Have a great morning, everybody. Try the banana and, and salty. It tastes very good, too. Watching the ZNS Network, the People Station. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Chat. And you might see or notice something a little different. I am April Sands, and today I'm going to be hosting Let's Chat with a special, special guest. Who else would I have on the couch I'm other the than <laughs> <laughs> the creator of the show? Tanya Lightborn. Thanks. So today we're going to be doing something a little different because it's Mother's Day. We wanted to get to know you because, of course, you do all this work. You interview all these people. Yeah. And now it's your turn. We want to know a little bit about you. Are oh, you ready? I think so. <laughs> I mean, you know, most women are born ready, right? Oh, I yeah. like it. 